the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Well, let's go over now to Kensington Town Hall and join our correspondent, Dan Johnson. Uh, this is the focal point of a protest that has started. Over to you, Dan. Yes, a protest that uh, started about an hour ago and has grown over the last hour considerably. Probably two or three hundred people here outside Kensington Town Hall, the headquarters and the offices of the borough of Kensington and Chelsea. And a lot of frustration, a lot of anger in this crowd, directed specifically at local government here in the borough and national government too. They feel, a lot of these people, that the victims and their relatives who were caught up in that fire have been let down in the aftermath of that fire and in the build-up to it. The fact that that fire uh, actually happened and the fact that it took hold and destroyed so much of the building so quickly. So this crowd has been chanting very noisily, uh, voicing their anger and making specific demands of Kensington and Chelsea Council. It looks like now the crowd's moving towards the doors of the town hall, actually. If we just spin round and look, that is the main entrance to the offices of Kensington and Chelsea Borough. It looks like people are actually trying to get in to the council to make their point directly. They've been frustrated that they haven't seen officials from the council, that people haven't been out on the streets talking enough to people. So now this crowd, some of them taking that message directly to the borough of Kensington and Chelsea. It looks like the doors of the office are closed and locked, so I don't think anyone's been able to get in. But it's notable uh, that there isn't any security here. There haven't been any police on duty with this protest. And the numbers of people here have just grown over the last hour as more people have come down from around the area where the tower happened, where the fire happened. They've come here in the last hour with a very strong message about what's happened this week, wanting to uh, give a direct message to Kensington and Chelsea Borough that they feel people have been let down. They've been demanding more funds be made available to rehome the victims' uh, families and people who've had to move out of their homes in the area around the tower as well. They feel that people have been left without homes, people telling us that the council has blood on their hands because of what's happened. They feel that the refurbishment work done on Grenfell Tower wasn't done properly, was done on the cheap. They have been making very serious allegations, some of these people, about failures by the council in maintaining and refurbishing the block. 